water vines. This is the easier one to find if you don't know the others because you go by the smell. This is the only one that smells. Um, once you're done with the water, you peel off the bark from the vine and you chop it into pieces. The vine, you put it to boil. The water turns red and it smells that good. You can drink it as a tea. It's also good to clean your kidneys. That's my medicinal purpose of it. So a thicker vine from this, at least this thick, you gotta cut it to three, four feet long. Then you can get enough water for you to drink. Mm. It's like coconut, right? Huh? Yeah. It's a small version of the coconut. <laughs> small version. Small version of the coconut. The whole limestone got to this part of the world. It is believed that this section was more than three times under the sea by going back and forth, leaving marine shells, coral reefs, and the warm shallow waters compacted together. So that's what you're looking at. Limestone. Limestone has a lot of spaces. It, it holds water there. So, so that water comes in contact with a carbonic acid, gathers minerals from the decay plants above, and then it starts to sip through the crevices of the limestone and then starts to form those formations that you see up in the ceiling. What are they called? You know what this formation that here in the city are called? Stalactite, yes. Once the stalactite drips on the hard substance, it creates what? There you go. You finish looking, it's copper. So those are the three minerals that we get to see in the cave, all right? It's um, preserved. What's that? It's preserved. Yes. This formation, they don't like our hands, so no touching of the formation, please. They look tempting, but they're solid as any other rock. So we are approaching more dark. Look, is it natural one? Natural. So, so yeah, this is what we call a flowstone. You can see how the waves are created. See, that's where the minerals are staying behind. Yeah. Then the ones with the pool, they're known as the rimstone dams. It's all natural. It's all natural. You can see how the water flows in it back yeah. there, see? Okay. okay? It's all natural. If you see it down there, it says made in China. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> yeah. It's all natural, guys. It's natural. Yeah. Well, what's it? No snakes in the cave, they don't like, like only, darkness. Only after floods. Whenever it floods, floods bring them in, but that's it. like a fishing line wraps them around and suck the inside of the fly months after himself will become a fly Ooh. he flying around and get eat, get stuck in one of those and be eaten by his own children so they have a cycle going on you know and here you can see different types of formations eh? so those are known as helactites <laughs> so what you're looking at guys is pottery that the Mayas left behind at least 12 to 1500 years ago. Oh.
So they were coming in here to do ceremonies. They believed that the rain god descended deep in the underworld, piercing different parts of their bodies with obsidian blades and burning and collecting blood on a bowl with incense, burnt paper, and light charcoal. Then they were burning that in the underworld. Once they were done with the burning, they crushed the pot into pieces. So that is what you're looking at. Ceremonial pots. on the Sorry? What, what is it called? Camping. Tequila, I'm going in the pool. 